Voters approved it all the way back in 2018. After years of back and forth court battles and intense debate, the Detroit City Council finally approves the city's recreational marijuana ordinance. That's right. The ordinance was approved by an eight to one vote. The application process for people looking to open recreational dispensaries begins soon. So let's look at some of the nuts and bolts here. In all, there will be 100 retail licenses. That'll be issued in phases. In fact, a lottery system is going to be used, but so-called equity applicants will be put on a separate track, giving legacy Detroiters a so-called favored status. Megan Woods live tonight with more. It's taken a long time to get to this point, Megan. Yes, a very long time. They've been waiting, going to city council meetings. And today we spoke to uh, licensed medical dispensaries as well as medical dispensaries outside of this uh, city or recreational dispensaries outside of the city. All of them say today is monumental. I'm elated. I'm excited. The city of Detroit finally allowing recreational marijuana to be sold under a new ordinance is a long time coming for Jerome Crawford of Pleasant Trees in Hamtramck. I want to see us win in the industry, right? And I want to see actually our real estate in our city and our neighborhoods, you know, have a chance to really benefit. So that's my first reaction is really I'm just overjoyed. Kimberly Scott of Chronic City says the medical market is a dying market. And most folks do not want to have medical cards. They don't want to have to go through a whole process of getting a card from a state to purchase cannabis when they could just use their ID and be 21 and up and purchase cannabis. Another medical dispensary in the city, Reef Detroit, says this is a game changer. Yeah, with us not being recreational with the city of Detroit, with how many tourists come to the city of Detroit, they just think that we're recreational because the whole state is, rec is a recreational state. So we have to turn away a lot of people over phone calls, people that walk into the store. And Pleasant Trees and Hamtramck says it's not just a game changer for those in Detroit. And you got others, maybe such as ourselves, they're on the outside looking in and saying, OK, Detroit, does it make sense? Right. And I can tell you for us, for anyone else, if it makes sense, the opportunity you know, presents, you know, looks lucrative, dollars make sense. We're definitely going to look at that. The ordinance takes effect immediately, but those medical dispensaries in the city of Detroit still have to apply and get approved to um, sell marijuana, recreational marijuana. Back to you. Megan, uh, also talk about the social equity component here that I mentioned. Yeah, so basically half of the licenses are reserved for those social equity um, applicants and for approval, they'll consider uh, multiple factors, including drug convictions and communities impacted heavily by drug policies in the past. Yeah. All right, Megan.